So, see here we are going to take unit 1. In this unit, we will be discussing about the units and measurement. So, first question is here, what are physical quantities? So, first we have to do physical quantities. See here, all those quantities which can be measured directly or indirectly are known as physical quantities. For example, length, mass, time, speed, momentum, etcetera. So, there are so many quantities which can be measured. All those quantities are known as physical quantities and these quantities are also used to describe laws of nature. Now, for measuring the physical quantity, what are the two things are required? First one is the unit. What are the units? So, see here for the standard of a measurement, a quantity is chosen which has got the same nature as a, that of the quantity which has to be measured is known as unit. For example, if you are going to measure length, we choose the unit that is meter. If you are going to measure mass, we choose the unit that is kg, kilograms. For the time, we choose second. For the speed, we choose here meter per second and for the momentum, we choose here kg meter per second. Suppose you are writing length length you have written 5 meter. In this 5 meter, this meter is the unit and this 5 is the numerical value. So, the meter has been re repeated here 5 times. So, here this 5 is known as a numerical value and this one is known as unit. So, for measuring any quantity, we need two things, one is a numerical value and one is unit. For choosing the unit, we have to careful because the unit should be, its size should be compatible, it should be neither very large or very small also and here it should be easily accessible, it should be easily acceptable. So, now first this thing is a length you have written 5 meter where the numerical value and unit. Suppose you are writing length we can take L is equal to 5 meter, which can be written here as 500 centimeter. I have chosen uh, convert into the another unit. Here this is a numerical value I can give as N1. This is here unit we can give as U1. Here this is a numerical value I can write N2 and this is unit we can write here U2. If this quantity is given here, suppose here L, so we can write L is equal to N1, U1 is equal to N2, U2. In general, we can write for the quantity Q is equal to N1, U1 is equal to N2, U2. Or we can write Q is equal to NU, that is N is inversely proportional to U. See here, it means larger the unit, here U stands for unit larger the unit, smaller the numerical value and smaller the unit, larger the numerical value. See here, centimeter is a smaller unit. So, numerical value is 500 is very large, but here meter is a larger unit, but numerical value is 5 which has got a small value as compared to this 500. 